Could you imagine Mum's face if she opened the door to this guy? Mum can't find out about this. What we did, what we've done. You've got to be kidding me. Had it sorted. Are you calling a breakdown service? All done there. You can't do that! Why not? You know why not! Look, let's just get this over with here. It's a total wilderness. We can get it done, fix the car, and be home by tea. Easy. I don't know. Is he... He's asleep. Do you think he's a narcoleptic? What? Right, what are we supposed to do now? You know what we have to do. <laughs> Am I next? Is that who dig the grave? No. No, can't. Absolutely not. If he's seen then... <laughs> I don't care. We, we can talk to him. Maybe we can sort something out. And if we can't, then you can, you know... Could what? Just do that thing you do. I'm not sleeping with him. <laughs> He's been in the car. We can't have any witnesses. Just stay away from me. <laughs> he has to be here somewhere. He's more scared of us than we are of him. He's not a snake cat. This is one big mess. Well, at least he can't do anything to Mum. You should have seen him, Seb. The way he spoke to her, the way he treated her. If she even spoke out of turn, he'd hurt her. If she couldn't even mention marriage or moving in together, he'd start throwing things around the room like a crazy person. They had to do something. For us, for our family. Yeah, I know, I understand. But wasn't this... No, you don't. You got to go swan off to uni, and I had to stay here, on my own. I had to look after her. She wanted me to go. She practically begged me. Adam was evil. Pure evil. Didn't seem that bad when I met him. Well, that's what he wants you to think. I 
her to be happy. Like she was with dad. Do you remember when I remember little and you used to steal my toys? Dad would run out to the shop and buy me another one and stop me from screaming the house down. Do you ever wish we could go back? No. What was that? Maybe it was a squirrel. I hate squirrels. It's all right, mate. It's all just been one big misunderstanding. <laughs> I've got a body in the back of your car. Yeah, well, just be thankful that it isn't yours. What were you doing in there? I was just... Trying to steal it? No. You bastard. Um, oh. I'm Jim. He's Jim. Do you know a Jim? Do you know what? I'm just going to... <laughs> Do you drill in your sleep? Your saliva's all over the back of our car. And fingerprints. Wouldn't want a nice guy like you going to jail for something that he didn't do. Fingerprints? Let's do this. We'll leave him here and wait for the tide to take him. This is a lake! There isn't a tide! <laughs> He's asleep again. This isn't going to work. Just dig a hole. The AA. Right, that's it, son. I better be off then. Don't you want a lift? <laughs> Guess this is it. See you then. Would you like to go for a drink sometime? No. Sleep on it? No means no. That's him. That's the guy. Oh, I'm a dead man. Adam. It wasn't him. Are you sure you got this right?
You said he was abusive. You said he was hurting her. He wasn't you said dad. You got me back here under false pretenses. I helped you, and for what? For dad. Will you stop? A man is dead. Do you understand? I buried his body. You can't tell them, Seb. Watch me. I can't forget him. He's not dead, Kat. What? He's right where he belongs. Rotting in prison. You're lying. He convinced us he was getting help, but he lied. He got drunk, he went out in his car, and he killed someone. You said that he had You people. put him up on a pedestal. We couldn't tell you the truth. You both knew. I have to tell them what we've done. I need help. I'll get help, but... I can't do it alone. I, I need you, Seb. Okay.